Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to calculate the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix. Now I will timestamp each part of the video below so you can skip through to either you know the formula, an example using the formula or whatever it is you want to see. Um, if this video is useful then please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. So let's see how we can find the inverse of a 2x2 two two matrix. But first let's see what the inverse actually does and why it might be useful to be able to calculate it. So say we have a two by two matrix A, although really for this property it could be any square matrix, and we find its inverse, so A inverse, so we multiply these two matrices together. Well, the result will actually give us the identity matrix. Now, this is commutative, so we could actually have A inverse multiplied by A, and this will still result in the identity. Now, one use for this could be, say we have a matrix equation where we have matrix A multiplied by matrix X, and the answer is matrix B. And we want to find what value of matrix X will solve this equation. Well, we can't just divide both sides by A like we would with a normal equation because we can't divide with matrices. And so what we're going to do is pre-multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of A, like so. So I get A inverse AX is equal to A inverse B. Now let's take a look at what's happened here. So on the left side of this equation, we have A inverse A, which is actually equal to the identity. So let's substitute that in. So now I have the identity multiplied by X equals A inverse B. And any matrix multiplied by the identity just gives back that original matrix. And so I get matrix X is equal to A inverse B. And therefore we've solved this equation. So that's one possible use as to why we might want to find out how to calculate an inverse of a matrix. So let's see the formula for how to actually do this. So if we have a two by two matrix, A for example, with AD minus BC not equal to zero, then the inverse of A is equal to one over AD minus BC, multiplied by this new two by two matrix, which is matrix A, where we've actually switched the elements on the lead diagonal and switched the signs of the elements on the reverse diagonal. Now you might notice the denominator of this fraction, this thing here, is actually the determinant. And so what we can say is, if we have a matrix A and the determinant of it is equal to zero, well, we can't divide by zero. And so because of that, if the determinant of our matrix is equal to zero, this implies that it does not have an inverse, okay? And we call it a singular matrix. Now, if on the other hand, the determinant of our matrix A is not equal to zero, that's gonna mean that it does have an inverse and we call it a non-singular matrix like so. Now, you might be wondering, does this actually work all the time? Well, what you can do is you can actually take this matrix here and multiply it by this matrix here. So you can calculate, I'll write it in red, A multiplied by our A inverse, and you can check that it gives you the identity. Now what you want to do is do it the other way around as well, so that you get A inverse multiplied by A. If that also gives you the identity, then you can be satisfied that this is definitely our formula for our inverse matrix. So let's now take a look at actually calculating this. So you can see here I have a matrix M, and I want to find its inverse. So the first thing I'm going to do is find the determinant. So the determinant of matrix M, well that's equal to 4 multiplied by 2, so 8, subtract 1 multiplied by 6, so 6. So the determinant of my matrix is two, which is not equal to zero, so therefore this matrix does have an inverse. And so for the inverse of M, I'm just gonna take one over the determinant and multiply it by, well, I'm gonna switch the elements on the lead diagonal, so two and four, and then multiply the reverse diagonal elements by minus one, like so, so minus one, minus six. Let's now see what we get. We can uh, multiply this matrix by the scalar, and we're gonna get one, negative three, negative 0 0.5 and 2. And what we could do is multiply this matrix we've just found by M and check that we get the identity matrix. And if we do, we know we've done it correct and we've got the, uh, the inverse. So if this was useful, please do like and subscribe and go over to my channel for tons more maths tutorials. Thanks for watching.